Hello, glorious people of the interwebs. Welcome to another video of Red Channel. Oh, wait. Wrong channel, sorry. Uh, I'm not tired back TV. Moonlighting is quite gaming. Don't, don't, put it, don't put it in the car. Don't. Put it in the car. don't. Oh, okay. I didn't see that comment. Hey, what's up guys? It's me, Cloud Gaming here, bringing you another Red Dead Online video. In today's video, I'm going to be giving you guys 25 things that I think should be added to Red Dead Online to make the game better and to, I guess, add, just add more to the game because we don't have a lot of content in the game. There's a, there's a bit, but they could add more. Um, and these are my personal ideas of what I think would be good things to add. Sorry that this video is going up late. I've had some problems with Xbox Live. Haven't been able to get on Red Dead Online or on Modern Warfare. Uh, that video should be uploading as I'm recording this. But without any more uh, without any more delay, let's go ahead and get into the video. I'm going to be reading these off, and um, on the ones that I think need explaining, I will explain. But other than that, again, let's go ahead and get into this video. So. Make all rolls 15 gold bars, um, including the Moonshiner and all future rolls. This is because there's probably going to be, there's always purchases in the rolls. And with everything else, they could just add another 15 gold bars worth of cosmetics or something else. Um, which is optional instead of adding another 10 on top of the 15 gold bar price. Um, also make an honor a bigger roll um, than just... Negative honor basically gets you more for, or gets you skill missions for the trader. I think it's the only thing. Like, give it more bonuses, more uh, different types of bonuses um, for good and bad, um, different sales and other stuff like that. Honor, or clothing based honor, just like in the story mode. Make an honor based role, like um, ramen and train robbers and stuff like that. It'll be there later in the video. Um, make a horse trading roll, so I covered this in my uh, top three features that should be added to the horses, I think was the name of the video, which basically uh, the horse roll would be breeding, changing, styling, and everything like that, the horse, and then selling it, make a heist slash bank robbing roll, um, which would also include train robbing, uh, assassination, stuff like that, that's going to be the low honor roll that I was talking about. Make it add another storyline that could either add on to the trader role storyline, kind of like the Moonshatter did, or the collector role, or the normal story role, add a uh, storyline like that. Add good and bad variants to guns. A uh, good variant would make the gun better, but it would cost more. Bad variant would make the gun a little bit worse, but it would cost a little bit less than the normal gun. Add custom hair length. So if you want a long ponytail, sorry, my alarm went off. If you want like a ponytail, like uh, a style that is already there, or you want it to be short, you can do that. Or if you want, say, a, must a handlebar mustache and you want it to be really long, you can do that. Add a boxing role, so basically bar fighting, uh, street fighting, stuff like that. Kind of like the Moonshine Saloon fights, but it's a role by itself and you get paid money for winning a fight, or maybe you can get paid a little bit more for throwing a fight. You have to make the decision to get uh, more money or to fight up and maybe there will be a championship so if you want enough um, enough fights you can go higher and make more money but maybe if you throw a fight you'll make like three hundred dollars but you won't make a championship and stuff like that uh, make all horses have uh, with the variables and changeable colors have the same or have the same stats as the base so maybe the brown version of the North Luck Roaster, it it doesn't have like different stats. So the top one could be brown, brown and white, and or say black, and then the next one after can be the same three colors. But maybe the lower version is still the worst, but it can have all three colors. Middle is still the worst. Uh, middle, it can have all three colors. Kind of like um. So basically, you can just change the colors of the horses, and it won't affect the stats. So like black Arabian and white Arabian will be the same, but they just have different colors. Make the gun medals not gold ex exclusive. Um, make them be able to buy from just normal money. Uh, make an outlaw roll, basically back to the bank robbers, 
but instead of just doing bank and train robberies, maybe you can do bank robberies, train robberies, assassinations, um, espionage, so like blow up a building or something, and just stuff like that. Um, so I can have to feed my horse. My horse is being a little hungry. Um, make a lawman roll. So instead of just bounty hunting, you can maybe uh, at a high, uh, maybe at a higher level, you'll be able to just um, stop players like in bounties. But what you're gonna be doing is stopping train robbery, stopping assassination, stopping bank robberies, and stuff like that. Um, make con make contact missions. Uh, that may may name may sound familiar if you played Red Dead Online, but um, it's basically just. Um, what it'll be in Red Dead Online is it'll just be, uh, it'll be Stranger Missions, but it will be, uh, for later game and it'll pay you more. Um, next is more horse customization. So maybe you want, um, maybe you can add a different, um, maybe you want the natural hair, but you want it to be shorter. Or maybe you want the long hair, but you want it to be curlier. Or you want the red locks, but you want them to be shorter. Stuff like that. Uh, just add more customization to it. Uh, sell or discard or drop unused weapons. So maybe you have the carbide repeater and you want to sell it. But you just want a little more cash. Or maybe you have the carbide repeater or something like that. And you just want to put it in a, in a like gun locker or something or a bin that you can use it later but you can get rid of it for now so that's not taking up like space on your horse so you don't have to scroll by as much um skin small animals from uh, walking they have this in story mode and they have the pick up and put in satchel animation in online so why not add that to online too include special ammo purchases in pre pvp um purchases so, like, you can buy standard ammo, but you can't buy the special ammo. Um, so they should add that. Play your own houses in cities. So maybe the house will have a fast travel somewhere, um, which you can go to certain cities. And maybe you'll have, like, a poker table. Or maybe they can add a different game, like pool or something. And uh, you can have a house there. Maybe you can run a business in the bottom. Uh, maybe that can be the house for the underground boxing or something. Um, fast travel, post in moonshine, maybe on the porch. Pets, such as a travel dog to journey with you that can attack play, uh, attack people. Maybe if it, it's an issue, it can tackle them down to the ground and um, just insta-kill them. But if it dies, it's like a horse. It can respawn, but it has to respawn back at the camp. Gotta kill this guy. Uh, maybe a snake that can poison, poison NPC and players, but it, or it can also uh, give you poison-tipped arrows if you put an arrow next to it. Eagle or bird to show like the general area, like maybe a circle around where um, a collectible or a hidden item is. Maybe there's a treasure map, and you can call your eagle, and it can take you to an area, and then it'll highlight the area in yellow. Uh, more in-depth cards, so, like, instead of just telling you the basics of what they do, or, like, giving the background of the card, maybe it can give you certain percentages, like, increase your Deadeye, um, Deadeye core by 15%, or make your gunshots 10% more accurate, and then finally, a, a house flipping roll, so basically you can buy a house for, like, uh, anywhere from eight hundred, eight hundred dollars to one and a half thousand, maybe just a general price range. Um, you can buy supplies or steal supplies, and they can either have that as an optional choice or maybe it's an honor-based thing. And then you can fix the house, which might uh, maybe it'll take a while. Maybe you can hire workers. Maybe you can do it by yourself. And um, if you do it by yourself, it depends on like factors maybe you have to do certain missions to do it by yourself maybe if you get a contractor it'll cost like another hundred dollars but it'll be done faster um and then you can sell the house so say you buy it for 800 and then you steal supplies and then you do it by yourself and you sell it for like 2k you can make one point or one thousand uh 
you a hundred dollars. But if you um, buy the house, have a contractor, which costs like a hundred dollars, and buy the supplies, maybe you'll still make um, a one point two thousand dollar profit from the original buy. So you'll make two point seven k. We will also have to take away the price of buying it and the price of the contractor. Uh, those are my 25 things that I think would improve Red Dead Online. Um, big roles, small things, stuff like that. Uh, if you guys did enjoy, please do like. Um, and if, tell me why you liked it down below. If you didn't like it, please do tell me why down below. Uh, if you li really liked it, please do consider subscribing. I make usually daily Red Dead Online uh, content. And I usually upload them anywhere from 8 in the morning to um, like... 4 or 5 in the afternoon, just depends on how long it takes me to make. Today was a little bit uh, longer because Xbox Live took a while to work and stuff like that. Um, follow, you can follow my social medias down below. I usually stream every day, if not every day, once every couple days. Um, that's all I have to say guys, uh, I'll see you in the next one.